Right. Oh. Thought I'd try something different. So we're on the bridge. Yeah, I realised that was um well I'll just say it could be a bit not exactly flammatory, but see I'm a big believer, right? If you want to reach the moon, aim for the stars. And that's what I've basically been doing my entire life. I've always been reaching for the stars. Um, if you're not pissing people, somebody off, right? You're not doing it right. That's my model. And it's usually right. There's always somebody got a fucking hissy about something. For whatever reason. Sometimes it's quite arbitrary. Just because they're having a bad day or somebody's got too many sugars in the coffee or something. You know, it'll come somewhere so it'll come to the top spot. I don't know. But it's, um, it's, yeah, that's one of the things I would love to do. Now, I'm not stupid enough to try and do some of this stuff like by myself, Kim. Yes, it's possible, but with two kids, it's increasingly difficult um, to do stuff like that. So the, the influence of God's on men episode. Now, yes, at some point, I would love to go back to that. But I wouldn't put a deadline up. I wouldn't tell everyone I was working on it. I'm probably sure I'm not working on it now. Uh, there is a chance that Mike did see that I could use the cathedral interior in those shots if I wanted to, um, or something similar in the show, right? Now, that would be nice, because it would add a bit of something to it that nobody's seen, you know. Or well, you've seen, you might see by then, but... Sort of reuse them, you know. But it's easy enough for me to wrap that um, cathedral up uh, in a different formation and different design. That's the amount, it's quite easy. Um, well, basically, it's a nice big cathedral parts kit now. So, yeah, it's... I know that, so as I say, some people are going to be pissed off and say, how dare you? Yeah, but I would like to show that the people who are teaching the guys that end up in these places aren't too shabby themselves. Now, a little bit late in this video, a big shout out to uh, my good mate, Zap Anderson, who's now stopped working for what used to be Mental Images, then was bought out by NVIDIA, and uh, is now working, he's working for Autodesk now. Is it a third time? Now I knew about this a while back. That would say, look, don't see him to anybody. So I didn't. Um, and as a sort of like a end user event where he basically got off the job, sort of thing. Which I suppose now makes an official recruitment place for Autodesk. Um, he sort of completes the crew, really, doesn't he? Because uh, a lot of the guys that are there, you know, like. Mike McCarthy and you know, I already know Neil and you know, the rest of that. So it's um, it's all completely nice set because usually there's a bunch of us always sort of knocking around together at least some part anyway, right? At that one event, so it makes it even and all nice, but um, yeah, so I was asked the other day by somebody, I think it was on Google Plus, so you know, sort of how come somebody with such a name and I'm using their term, not mine, right? Uh, is always complaining of being skinned. Well, there's some very easy answers to that. Firstly, I'm fucking shite with money, right? You give me 10 grand right now. Well, if I bent down and went, oh, 10 grand right there, right? I can promise you by the end of this week, it'll be gone. Probably by the end of tomorrow. Money burns a hole in my pocket and there'll always be something new and shiny that I wish to buy. There's always more bills that need to be paid. And um, also, when you're a freelance, it's feast of famine, and when it's famine, the bills mount up and they get higher and higher and higher, and eventually you end up getting on the verge of defaulting, right? Sometimes even beyond that, and then when you do have money, most of the money goes to pay off the bills that you ran up because you didn't have the money, right? So there's also that. Then there's the fact that um, I've always been a square peg in a round hole. I've always been the guy that's the loudmouth guy that is incredibly self-centered and is not afraid to say, well, actually, I'm pretty decent at what I do. Um, I abhor false modesty because there's nothing that pisses me off more than if you see somebody who you you know they know how good they are and they are oh, well I'm not very good really I'm pretty good no you're not son you know it right if you're getting big name clients coming to you or you're doing sort of uh, getting a lot of work in as a freelancer then you know you're pretty damn good right um, and if you don't see it to somebody nobody else will right. Um, I won't promote a direct competitor to me, right? Now, if somebody's not a direct competitor, yeah, I'll sing their praises all day, right? And that's the way it should work from a business point of view. Um, I've also never been afraid to piss people off in powerful positions because I bow to no man and no woman ever in my life. 
I haven't done it now, I'm not about to start. If I fail it recently, there's um, certain people may or may not be quite pissed off at me after pointing out a few things that were actually fact that maybe they didn't want to believe. Um, not about me, it was about, I was asked a direct question and I was asked for the complete truth, so I gave it to them. And so means the complete truth is not what companies want. Um, you know, and I'm, that's about as far as I'll go with that, but, you know, it's, I'm not overly worried because if somebody wants me to be a yes man, they pick the wrong fucking bozo. I've never been a yes man in my life. Um, I'll say yes to things I think are right. I think something's wrong. I am an immovable object. I say at the moment, um, I promised that I would do, I've been doing some reviews I mentioned last time uh, on my blog, right? At dash dot slash dot net. Um, that's a promo. I should have a little banner going on the bottom of some fucking shit. I still haven't got the intro for this thing, man. I have to get out of that. But yeah, so I've been doing some reviews. And I promise the next one will be the one of ZBrush. Now, I'm quite aware that a lot of people think I am going to sit and crucify it, right? For no other reason than being Mr. Mudbox. Their words, not mine. Alright? Although, to be quite honest, I don't see why the fuck now I should defend it, right? I am very sort of known for Mudbox. Arguably more than most. Um, so, does this mean I'm going to rubbish ZBrush? No, I'm giving it a fair hearing. I'm doing what I always said I did anyway, and I have done. Every time I pick up new software, I give it a fair hearing. Now, I'm not just saying, like, let's use it for three days, right? And then uh, declare it shit. No, I'm on about doing it, sort of taking a good few weeks, a month with it, and then saying, this is what I think, and these are the reasons for my decisions. So the things I think are good, I will tell you if they're good. Things I think that aren't so good or fairly useless in production, I will mention those things. I'll also mention how it works alongside other applications. You know, there's, because I suppose in the way I'm uniquely qualified, I've taught people in both. I've released DVDs in both. People hear when I fucking point this shit out, but it's right. There's not many people out there that uh, can say they've taught both at a high level. I have, right? Um, I can use both equally well, right? I prefer mud box because it fits well with me. That's me speaking up to the last releases. And I'm not counting subscription advantage pack version of the mud box or ZBush R4 R2, R2 D2. That should be the should release that's a pack, you know, service pack. Service pack R2 D2. Just for the But no, yeah, I'll give it a, a, a proper hearing, right? I'm not going to crucify it because it'll be very stupid to do so because there's, there's, there's some nice features in there and I'll, I'll give you one hint straight away you know Dynamesh yeah I'm not going to crucify it I'll point out the strong points and the weak points yes but um, I like it yes it fits straight into my workflow that's a, that's a freebie straight right here right I'm not going to discount an application just because people think I should Neither am I going to say I'm not using this application, but it's not an either or situation now. I will use all applications at my disposal um, to get the job done, which is what we should all be doing. It's not football teams, couldn't give a shit, nobody pays me either way, right? And um, I couldn't care less, but I'm just going to put my opinion out there. But opinions are like arseholes. We've all got one. And is mine more valid than yours? Of course it's not. Mine just maybe stands from a unique standpoint. It's not worth any more than yours. It doesn't mean any more. I don't think I'm better than everybody else. What I'm saying is, this is the experience I've had. Maybe you find it interesting, my view. That's the most I've never seen, right? I'm not going to proclaim myself God of the fucking universe, right? Because that's not the case. And it's not the case for anybody else either, right? So all we never do is give our point of view. And I'll try and be as even-handed as I possibly can. So, yeah, we'll see. I fully expect it to uh, go on a floodgate of shit again. Because every time I mention the Z word, you know, somebody calls it the wrong word. But we'll see. As you can probably tell here, I've got this on dark mode. It probably doesn't look it, but it's actually pretty damn dark. I'm not sure if I, I, I would try and change the lighting on this, but I'm pretty sure it would cut off if I did that. But it's, um, this is twice as bright as it actually is. It's now, let's have a look on my phone. We've still got the wee wolf on the background. Don't you see that? Right, so it's after sunset. The sunset was at um, just before six o'clock. It's now 20 past six. I was at 10 past 26. I actually quite remember. I just looked at the fucker. What time is it? 
yeah, 20 past six, virtually, right? So, we're after sunset. Ah, oh, shit, back. I'm pretty sure I've got sciatica in my back. I've had spinal problems most of my life, but obviously carrying more weight now, puts more pressure on the spine because it pulls it forward, right? And I'm getting a lot of, it's like really sharp pains down there, electric pains, but, uh, which apparently sounds exciting, but I think I've got enough shit on my plate at the moment to deal with without something else. So, actually before the last video, right? When I said I'll go to the next video, I cut off. About 10 foot in front of me, right? A fox walked out, stopped, saw me and then run like fuck. But it was amazing. I love seeing the animals that close up. It's not a good point of being out this night, this night like that. If I, when I cut this off, right? I would have walked quite a distance. Uh, it's rural around here, right? We've got sort of, sort of near a road, but it's rural. And there's a lot of animals and you would usually see all sorts of things. Now, I don't want to get this thing out because the moment it goes beep when it starts up, you know, it's going to scare us off. But yeah, so tonight I'm going to sit and sort of have another mess around with ZBrush uh, because there's no point me doing a review unless I've actually fucking used it in anger, right? There's no point, otherwise, it's absolutely fucking pointless. Uh, I've also got to, you know, make sure I've got the pipeline nailed and problem. There is one particular problem. You can't take Dynamesh uh, model straight in the mud box. And it'll whinge at you, right? Because it's got T-shaped meshes all like, T-shapes and the mesh all over the place. Um, so I, I've got something to get around that. I'm not making it available, but I'll make it a, the, the knowledge available for you, all of you, of what's happening, right? Uh, and then it'll be used like find your own bloody solution to go up to it. Because I'm sick of releasing shit, like bloody plugins and crap, you know. Maybe one day. I released one a while back, but I uh, just want people to do it. Right. Uh, I will see you all next time. And it's getting very dark. It's amazing how dark it is, but it looks like fucking daylight on here. This is like, it's dusk, it's like, it's almost like fucking infrared vision, this fucker. I wonder if there's any noise on it. I'll have to wait later on, but yeah, it looks like fucking, it's really weird looking for me looking at this, right? Because it looks like I'm walking in the middle of the afternoon, but to me, this looks like fucking nighttime, personally. Anyway, right, didn't know this camera could do this. Right, I'll see you all next time.